Minister, uh, we've got storms in Victoria, consecutive disasters here in Queensland. How much is this expected to cost the budget and can anything be done to avoid the compounding effects of these disasters? Well, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll hand over to the Treasurer there, but uh, we're going to make sure that people aren't left behind. We know there have been a range of disasters and uh, I have had to sign off authorisation in Queensland, Western Australia and Victoria will be coming as well. Uh, but my government is determined to not leave people behind. Our primary focus is on the human cost of these natural disasters and the cost to local communities. Uh, but of course there will be an economic cost and a budget cost as well and that will become clearer in the coming weeks and months. Uh, Australians are there for each other when times are tough and all three levels of government will be there for people as well as they contemplate uh, this recovery and this rebuilding effort. This is what cooperation looks like. Uh, this is government of all three levels at its best, working closely together, supporting these quite remarkable people here uh, who are backing uh, people who are doing it tough. Uh, there will be a cost to that. We understand that. Uh, we will do whatever we can uh, to fund uh, people through difficult times, but also when it comes to rebuilding these really important uh, communities and local economies. Uh, as the Prime Minister said, uh, we don't want to leave people behind uh, and we will be there for people as they are there for each other. Just in relation to that very quickly, um, we've heard of a barramundi farm in Far North Queensland that's struggling to get an insurance payout following the disaster because insurers are labelling it a flood, not a cyclone and they wouldn't cover him for flooding. Would, uh, what do you think of the response from insurers thus far following these weather sort of events? I'll get Murray to add to this in a minute, but our message uh, from all three levels of government to the insurers is very clear. Do the right thing by your customers. You know, people have been through hell in some of these communities, uh, hosing out homes, uh, throwing away a lifetime of belongings, uh, being in physical danger. Uh, the last thing that people need is insurance companies stuffing them around. Uh, and so that is very clearly, I think, the message from all of us. Do the right thing by your customers. I'll ask Murray to add to that. Yeah, really just to echo uh, Jim's remarks, uh, as he said, it's important right now that insurers do the right thing by Queenslanders and all Australians who are going through these disasters. Uh, overall, I have to say, I think insurers have improved their performance and their responsiveness to consumers in recent years. Um, but the last thing that people want to see happen right now is to be dudded by an insurance company through finding some kind of a loophole. So, you know, we've got all governments standing together. We've got entire communities standing together. We need to see the corporate sector stand with Australians in their hour of need as well.